all right welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose laravel and LIBO application so in this video we'll be working on user module and we'll be creating our first LIBO component so let's get started let's go to terminal and write one artisan command to create a component so let's do PSP audition Mac live so the component name is uh, we'll be creating the component inside of admin slash users slash and the component name is list users so this rdc command create two files one is class which is inside of app http liveware admin users list users and another is view which is inside of resources views liveware admin users and list users that lit so now let's create our route for users so let me go to web.psp file and let's do route get admin slash users and the class name is list users class and route name is let's give it a name called admin.users okay now let's pull this class Okay, I, I I pull this class here. Now let's go to admin slash users. Okay, it is currently blank. So actually that file is currently blank. So nothing is here. So let's remove and let's print here. Yeah, it is working. So by default, Laravel Liveware uses this um, layout. Which is inside of resources, views, layouts, and app.blade.psp file. So uh, we don't need to write anything here inside of list users. So now let's uh, copy some uh, some part from dashboard.blade.psp file, which is inside of which is here. So it is inside of admin slash dashboard here. Okay. Now let me copy this part and paste it here. And let's refresh this page. Okay, let's change this content. Let's say users and here users okay and let's write here dashboard fine now let's add table so let me copy this section as well from here and paste it after this tip. So let's refresh this. We don't need those, so let me remove one by one. Instead of card body, let's remove everything from here. And we don't need this part as well. And we don't need this part as well. let's see okay let's make it full so instead of six let's make it table now let me go to bootstrap and let's grab one table let's search for hoverable hoverable rules so let's copy this code and let's paste it here Okay. Now let's go to the browser and let's refresh this page again. So perfect. Now let's change this field. So let's make it name, email, and options. Okay. 
let's remove these two rows yeah. now instead of this let's do let's add two icons for editing and deleting so okay, class of fa fa edit okay and another is for delete FFA trace okay let's make it red text danger also let's keep some gap from edit so let's do margin write up 2 okay now let's add one button over here to add new users so let's do that over here let me create one button with the class of button button primary and add new user okay we see it here so let's add one icon here like it pretty fa fa plus circle also let it, let's keep some gap so margin right of one okay now let's pull this button to the end so to do this let's wrap this button with div and for this tip let's do display of flex and justify content to the end so let's keep some gap on the bottom so let's do margin bottom of 2 ok perfect so now when someone click this add new user button then we we are going to show the pop-up model so we'll be using bootstrap model so let's go to bootstrap and search for model and over here let's copy this code and let's go to list users and before the end of up to the end of this div let me paste that code here okay now uh, let's change this id to form okay and let's use wire click on this button so when someone click let's prevent the default action and when someone click then we'll be using this we'll be using this method so let's create this method instead of component class which is instead of app http liveware admin users list users okay so let's create a one method called add new and over here let's tie in them here let's go back okay now let's try this out yeah, it is not working let's inspect it and we don't see any error as well because first we to use liveware we need to include the assets so let's use this tax syntax to include the asset let's go to resources uh, layouts app.play.php and before the end of head tag let me paste this tag and let me copy this tag and let me paste before the end of the body tag okay now it's a work how it's a work let me, let me click on this button yeah it is working perfect now when someone click we need to show pop-up model so let's do this now 
let me go to list users class and for this liveware um, uh, for this we need to fire the event from this class from this method so to fire the event using liveware we need to do this dispatch browser event and the name of the event let's give so form okay so form and to listen for this event we need to use javascript so let's go to app.blade.php and write some javascript for listening the event listening for that event okay now let's do window dot add event listener and the event name is so form and let's use arrow syntax and let's do we need to we need to show the model so to show the model we can do find the id and show the model model so okay now let's try this out we refresh it and click on add new user this isn't working as expected so i think we are getting window that add event listener i think I, I, I a mistake with spelling so let's fix this add event liste and er listener okay let's refresh this page again and click here so it is working perfect so when clicking add new user we are showing the model so now let's change this content over here to go to change this content let's go to list users that played and instead of model title let's write a new user a new user okay and here we can do save and here we can do cancel now let's try this again yeah, everything is fine so here we will be using the form so let's go to bootstrap and search for form and let me copy this let me copy everything from here and let's paste it over here let's indent it okay now refresh this page again and we will be able to see the form so we don't need this so let's remove this button as well as this checkbox and let me copy this and here we'll be using we'll be using the fields like name email and password and password confirmation okay so name it sends to name over here and in type of text and let's do name help enter name okay into full name okay and we don't need this so let's remove this yeah it is working perfect so we don't need this from here as well so let's remove this and let me copy this for and paste it over here for password confirmation let's do confirm password password confirmation let's change to password let's change this to email okay yeah 
let's change this placeholder as well to confirm password now when someone click on save then we need to submit the form and perform the validation so I think this was for this video as the video is getting longer and for the validation part we will be working on next video so I think you like this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as I will be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and I will see you in the next video and in the next video we will be working on validation and processing the data so have a great time bye